Now we are going to create the top 10 states and the bottom 10 states by sales. Now, anytime you want to do something that has to do with ranking, naturally, the best visual you want to use is your bar chart. So I'm going to select a bar chart here and I will drag that over here to my reporting section. I can resize it a little bit. I just want this to be about maybe 50% um, of the page possibly and also 50% going down this way. So what I want now is sales by state. So I'm going to select my sales or my state, whichever one I find first. So I see sales first, I pick that up and then if I scroll down, I'm going to see my states. So that's my sales by state, but you can see that we have a whole lot of states here, right? So apparently I think one thing I've selected here is because I already have the Eastern region selected. So you by default not see all the states. So if I want to show all the states, I'm going to have to clear this filter here so I can see all the states. But what I really want to do is not to see all the states. Rather, I want to see the top 10 states. And that's where the filter pane come into play. So I'm going to expand the filter pane and explain one or two things. In the filter pane, there are three levels of filter that we can apply. We can apply filters directly against a chart. That means reduce the number of items on that chart. That's the one we call filter on this visual. We can also apply filter directly to all the charts on the report page. And to do that, we are going to use filters on this page. The filters on this page is similar to what you have when you use a slicer. It's basically the same thing. You know when you use a slicer and you select something, all the items or all the uh, chart items on your report are going to filter based on your selection. So filters on this page does exactly the same thing that slicer is going to do. The only difference with filters on this page is that it is kind of like a backend way of using slicers. Why? Uh, slicers is an elegant way for reports users to quickly interact with their reports if there is an uh, another way that is not so elegant for users to interact with their report then it's going to be from the filters okay, so they have to come to the filter screen and you know uh, fight with all of the objects that you see on the filter screen here then the third level of filters on the filter screen is filters on all pages filter on all pages is like filters on this page except that it is going to affect all the report pages that you have so for example let's say that i go to bring in ship mode now and i put ship mode on filters on all pages if i pick let's say first class shipments what that means is for every report i'm going to create on this my power bi desktop file every single thing is going to be based on first class shipments that's filters on all pages. So those are the three levels of filters we have on the filter pane. The one that applies only to a selected visual filters on this visual. The one that applies to all the visuals on the reports page. And the one that applies to all the visuals on all of the pages. So let's go and see the options that we have under the filters.